Thanks for stopping in the Photography Lounge. My name is John Zachary, and I'm here to talk to you today about the iPad Pro 12.9 256 gig with the new iPad Eye Pencil and the keyboard. Just got this thing last week. I had 12.9 last year's version. Loved it. Just a little smaller, a little quicker. Just pretty. So I got this, and I just want to do a little tutorial here on not the iPad itself. I do love the iPad. We'll talk about that later. But how I edit my photos and with the iPad. Instead of using my iMac, I'm trying to get everything down to the iPad and uh, Lightroom CC. I do the same in my videos. I'm do, using LumaFusion. Just trying to make everything mobile and pretty simple. So I can do this anywhere on the road or at an event or whatever. So let's let's open up Lightroom here. Here's my Lightroom catalog. Some some folders and uh, galleries I have here. So let's go to Car Show Picks. I was just going, you know, through this little bit, and I just picked a few. So this here is a uh, shot my GoPro. I shoot Fuji film, film, but I've been trying to do some more video, so I got a GoPro. Yeah, GoPro Hero Five. So I'm gonna reset this picture. All adjustments. Bam! Nice Mustang, real killer Mustang. So this is what I do. As far as editing a picture, I will uh, go to my expo, check out my histogram, see my exposure, don't want to hit any clipping, so looks good about right there. I'm going to pop the contrast. I love contrasty pictures. Bring my highlights down a touch, but I like the white of that Mustang, but I also want to see the, the body lines there. See that? Open up the shadows a touch for them tires, that grill area, see that grill area? So I'm going to open them up there. I'm going to put two fingers on the white slider. Move it to the right to get my white point. It's about good. Same with the black slider. Move to the left to get my black point. Uh, color. As shot. You know, it is what it is. It's a GoPro. So I'm going to leave it. I'll, it's a, it might be a little cold, cool. I'll warm it up a touch. Yeah. Eh, no. Warm up, yeah, warm up a touch there. Go to effects. A vignette. I like a vignette in my pictures. It's just what I do. I take my feather tool. I see where my line is. And I try to feather it. I like that there. Uh, oh, clarity. Car pictures, I like to hit my clarity a little bit, around 20, 25. We'll go 21 on this one. Bam, detail. Bring sharpening them up a touch. I don't want to overkill it. This GoPro won't take a lot. A little noise reduction. And uh, there it is. What do you think? I think that might be a touch dark. So I'm going to go back up to my exposure. Open it up a touch. Yeah, I like that. On to the next one. So this one here is what I've done is, here's my settings. I've already done this. Again, I brought my contrast up, highlights down, opened up the shadows. My whites stayed about the same. Let's see here. Yeah, see, they're starting to blow. And I don't want to blow them out too far. So about right there, plus five. Blacks brought them down. Minus 12. Opens up that grill. See that, that grill? The tires, you can see the. The uh, all the detail on the tires they look great. Color again. What is this shot with? Uh, unknown camera. Not a clue what's going on here, but anyways, color it looks good. It might be a. I like it. it looks good. Go we'll stay there. Effects again. Vignette. Feather. Clarity at forty nine. I like boomifying the. Boomify. I like bringing the clarity up on this. On a car, I like the metal. I like everything just a little more clear. And uh, oh, I did this the gradient tool. I uh, see this right here. Brought this down. And uh, for the sky. And I put some contrast in it. Highlights. And then I. Uh, did some saturation 
just a touch. Brought that blue up a bit. That's it. Done. ZL1. Ferrari GoPro again. Nice Ferrari GoPro again. Here's a Roadster from the Seven Valley Street Ride Club. Same thing. I go in all my pictures. They look about the same as far as my adjustments. I try to shoot them all pretty close to the same. And then, you know, my adjustments are going to be about the same across the board for any given light situation, you know, if it's daylight or nighttime or whatever. So Adirondack Nationals, beautiful car, same Adirondack Nationals. Here's a sunset, a little tougher, you know, got some high ISO going on, but still it, it held together pretty good. Did some noise reduction, but you know, screenshot like that on a phone or an iPad, beautiful print it. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I do. I love my iPad. I love editing on iPad. I'm going to do some more tutorials here on getting a little deeper on how to do some things with the iPad, with the iPad. Like for instance, let's heal, do the heal and brush. So spot on that black top there. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? Okay, heal and brush, feather. Gonna bring that down size, gonna bring that up. Bam. Again, hit the bam. You know? Just get little things off the I think it's Oop, I missed it. I missed it. There it is, gone. No, oh, just cleaned up the picture a little bit. That's kind of distracting and stuff. But anyways, you can do quite a bit with this mobile app, and you're crazy not to use it. I know there's other better, maybe better. I don't know. I like this. I really like this. It's easy. It's synced to my phone. It's synced to my iMac, my iPad. It's synced across the board, not to my watch. It's the only thing. Uh, but, you know, it's it just makes sense. If you're out shooting an event and you want to get some pictures up, you know, Wi-Fi them over to your, your iPad or your phone, put them in your Lightroom catalog, bam, do some edits, put them up on Instagram or wherever you got to send them to a magazine, whoever you're shooting for. Then when you get home, they're already there. They're not the raw, but, you know, bring the raw and make that, that same adjustment. So I like it. I really like this iPad. This iPad is fast. It's really fast. And uh, so, yeah, I've just, you know, that's that's what I do. This is this is what I do. Uh, let me see. Sealands Grove Late Models. Here's a drone shot from my Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, let me see here. Let's see. X Pro 2, 122 millimeters, 1 200th of a second, 6.4 at 1600 ISO. It's kind of dark. The guy's hauling, man, 130 mile an hour. It's loading. There it is. See the front? Nice and focused. Uh, let's see what the ISO on this thing is. 1600. Not bad. Not bad. Go to detail. Noise reduction. You know, I could soften the crap out of it, but I kind of like that right there. Uh, let's go to Port Royal for some sprint cars. Let's see. Port Royal sprint cars. Where are you? There we go. Um... Go down here. Now this was a day show, so these guys are these guys are moving 140 mile an hour. Here we go. Fuji X Pro 2, 125th of a second, F8 at a thousand ISO. They're hauling. So what I did on this, same thing. You're gonna see. 
See, I could bring the highlights down a touch more, I guess, but I left them about neutral. Contrast, exposure is about right there. I could dark it up a touch, but pretty much there. Open up the shadows. The whites, it's real close, so not a lot of movement there. Blacks. Yeah, there it is. Logan Shuhart. He's hauling, man. So like I said, I try to, when I'm shooting stuff like this, low shutter speed to get some movement. A lot of guys will stop that car right in the corner at, you know, one thousandth of a second. And there you have it. See what this is at. This is 125th. 125th. He's going slow there, so he is slowed down. But, uh. Yeah, you got to show some speed, show some movements. What I say. Now this is pace lap, one five hundred. Look at it, it's standing still. Looks like they're just parked there, but they're not. They're rolling. And that's my whole point. Get these things moving. Show some movement. Slow that shutter speed down. Pan with that car. Man, people just stop everything right in the. I'm getting on my soapbox here, but they just like freeze frame everything. Well, what's that? So here's one five hundredth. But I do have some movement in that tire, so it does look like he's moving. So, I don't know. To each his own, I guess. So, it's a tough pitcher, Brian Brown, one five hundredths of a second, but he's coming at me. But that's 3.5. It's getting dark out. It's an overcast day, ISO 1250, you know. So, yeah, that's what I do on my iPad. I love it. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you want to talk more photography with me about camera gear, editing, iPad, Fuji film. I love my Fujis. What do you guys shoot with? What do you shoot? And what do you use to edit on? I love to know what you guys, anybody else doing this mobile stuff? I'm pretty sure people are. So uh, if you'd let me know, I'd like to talk to you guys. Give me some hints. i give you guys some hints or whatever. I think that's beautiful. I do. That's in my X-Pro2. Love that shot. Again, same thing, I think. Yep. So, it's not easy catching these cars. They're flying, but, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, subscribe to this channel. It's a new channel. I want to do everything photography from gear to out on the field shooting, you know, behind-the-scenes stuff, editing. Just talk about photography. There's enough of us out there doing it. Love the bounce some stuff off you guys you guys bounce some stuff off me and just uh, have fun doing it because it's something that i love to do and i'm sure you guys are passionate about it too so even if it's whatever you shoot just the passion of photography itself is is awesome so i'm up for it i want to do some you know talk with you guys and uh here's some use stack stuff help each other out here and uh get some good conversation going well, that's tough. That's uh, one four hundredth of a second X Pro Two with my fifty five to two hundred. Just bam, nailed it. Look at the eyes. So yeah, let me know. Hit that subscribe button again. I hate to keep saying it, but if you would, it'd be awesome. Get this channel rolling, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by.